hello everyone thank you for coming back to my channel if you remember yesterday if you saw my video that i posted yesterday i talked about energy and vibes right and i said i was going to talk about energy vampires right so this is it we as human beings like i said we have energy portals in our body some people call it chakras but we have energy portals we have seven energy portals we have way more than that but I, that's like like other that's like really diving deep but as a regular human being you have to know what you carry you need to know yourself so that you can rule your world so we have different energy systems but the lowest energy in our body is the sacral um chakra that's the that it just means that the energy in your sacrum in your sacral region so if you look at the body system you know around the spine there's a sacral bone so it's like midline around there so we have it in our bodies i have it you have it everybody has it so there's an energy field around there okay everybody has energy fields in their body if you hold for example okay let me just use a little illustration for people who are still doubting that what do i mean by energy and that our body is electric so for example you know they want you to stay away from thunder and lightning and all that i could strike and all that because the body is a conductor okay the body is a conductor of electricity if you hold if you hold the life wire, why does it affect you? Why do you just fly away or get electrocuted? Because you're a portal. You are you are electric. If you if you touch okay, like for example, like if you touch the antenna of a radio, you know, when you touch it, it becomes very clear. And when you take your hands off it, maybe you start having this crazy waves and in frequency and all that but when you touch it it's working with your blood right we'll talk about that one later too oh my god but guys it is true it is who you are it is what you carry so when you know yourself you are very careful and you can manifest things into your reality you can be in control of your own world so for example the sacral region your sacral energy sacral chakra you know that's the popular word but i'm more comfortable with energy so the energy in your sacral region if you don't vibrate higher than that it simply means that you can become psychically attacked because see I don't want to dive deep okay guys so please just try your best and follow me so if you are basically just functioning around that energy in your sacral region which is the energy that is responsible for your survival okay survival mode okay you're thinking oh what are we going to eat your fear it's responsible for fear like most of the bad things that happen in the world you or um, if you're not grounded this is where all this vibration collides and things get crazy so you can be easily attacked if you're not grounded if all you're focused on is survival mode ego envy you know all the fruits of the flesh everything is sitting down in this area so this is where the energy vampires this is where they function so if you're somebody naturally in this state you can be easily you can be easily um attacked because energy vampires are usually attracted to you know something that vibrates in its own level in its own level but when you vibrate higher and energy vampires are around you they cannot suck your energy because you vibe higher they might be able to maybe a little bit but you will still be able to recuperate fast and like overcome the situation but in the most part they 
they they can't really attack you anymore you'll be dealing with other demons in higher places <laughs> unfortunately that is life that's the journey of life you know but what i wanted to talk about is regarding energy vampires so if you don't evolve past that survival state if all your functioning is around your sacral region your survival mentality you know all that level then you can be easily attacked and this is how to know when our energy vampires are around you so already you know what vampires do right vampires suck blood but energy vampires they come and they suck your energy so basically when energy vampires are around you you feel drained that's the number one sign and that's what i'm focusing on you feel drained when they are around you and the thing about energy vampires is that even sometimes they don't know that they are vampires okay you can easily become an energy vampire if you stay too if you if you focus too much on your negativity and things that are not working well in your life um if all you are focused on is um survival mentality you don't have money you don't have this that you just want and want and want or you need and need and need and you are not grateful you don't practice gratitude you can easily become an energy vampire so when you are around people people feel drained people feel drained if anyone is around you and you feel very drained that's because you've been in contact with an energy vampire and the thing with energy vampires is that they could be your family member they could be your spouse they could even be your kids they could be anyone around you so once you notice this that it seems like i do not have the energy that i need to achieve things to get things done especially if you're a doer like me i just do things i don't wait for somebody to do it i just do it once i'm able to do it within my time of doing because i have a doing time then i do it once it gets into my me time then i don't do it i move to the next day but if you are like that you're a doer you get your things done and you're not able to get things done then you've been in contact with an energy vampire and then you have to do the work you need to focus back get your energy back how do you get it back you need to vibe higher you need to be grateful you need to start meditating and you need good prayers not not tautology not repetition and shouting shouting going to the mountain you can go to church if you want to wherever you want to go to but the most important thing is that you want to stay grounded you want to focus on what is most important to you okay you want to get yourself together you want to connect with the god factor in you there are energies in your body guys we are spiritual beings we are just having a physical ex um, experience okay so guys that's it for now i'm going to make another video talking about why you are attracting energy vampires because sometimes it's not because you're in a low vibrational state that you're attracting energy vampires but that's uh, another step forward so i will do another video regarding why you might be attracting these people into your life because sometimes it's because you are a light and you attract moths okay so but we'll talk about that in another video so for now um i just hope this clarifies what energy vampire is for you because the word is get thrown out a lot and it's nice that people are being more aware now that is actually a thing called energy vampires you want to save your energy for yourself you want to use it for your own personal growth and development you want to use it to build your own spiritual system okay so i will get back to you guys i will see you in my next video stay with me and i'll be right back bye now and stay safe